I come check on the car. Look at this. Somebody leaves freaking garbage on it. And it's clearly been there. It just snowed yesterday or something. Soggy. It might have been there for a little bit. I'm going to pop the hood and I'm going to jump start this beast and let it run for a little while. Stand by. You know I'd never leave you guys behind. Uh, they apparently don't know how to clear snow here because this is bad. But car is driving, running pretty fantastic. Very happy. Um, I'm obviously not doing much more than 10 kilometers an hour cruising through these very hallowed subdivisions. But always, always a pleasure to be in here. Let's get straight to it. This video is a little dramatic. It was a little bit scary, nerve-wracking while it was going on, but it is entirely my fault. There's nothing wrong with the car. There's no electrical gremlins. There's no aging problems. There's no rodents, chewing on wires. There's no this, that, the other. The battery is dead, 110% dead. It's been dying for a while. And uh, I changed out the reverse lights to uh, LEDs. But I didn't put the resistors in them, so when I shut the car off, they kind of like blink for like an hour or two. And then every time I get near with the car, it like kicks the security on or off, which reignites them, which just keeps things going. And it basically just runs until the battery dies. So I was at the point where I had to start the car every 24 hours and drive it for at least 10, 15 minutes to make sure there was enough charge in it to start it the next time. I could not start, stop, and bomb around town. I had to like commit from point A to point B or start it in advance, let it idle, or wait in the car while it was running for a minute or two when I got to where I was going. Very wasteful on fuel, but it is what it is. So, car sat for three weeks, temperature went up, temperature went down. We know that the temperature dropping like that can also affect batteries performance. So there was all these factors. So the car was dead when I got there. Um, I had to pop the cap off the door handle, put the manual key in, open the door. Uh, and then pop the trunk. I put a no-co battery pack on the battery. It wasn't even enough to turn the lights on or like boot the car. It, it just did nothing, which told me there was no battery in the car. So I crawled in through the trunk from the inside of the car, pulled the emergency release inside the car, opened the trunk up. I checked there is a battery in the car, just not a functioning one, and it would hold zero charge. I pulled the escalator around, I jumper cable, turned the key, press the button, things start moving and doing things and I can hear things clicking and the fuel pump kicks on and everything started to kind of come to life, but it didn't start, I was like, that's weird. Then I clicked it again and it turned over like four or five times and then it started. I let it run for 10 minutes. I drove it around the block and let it run for another 10 minutes. I then decided to drive it around the bigger block, take it out on the highway, get it up to highway speed, put some heat in the rotors, put some heat in the motor, heat, get everything to operating temp. It was technically at operating temp, but I wanted to warm the car up. It wasn't cold cold it was like probably 20 degrees fahrenheit like minus 10 whatever like it was cool kind of bitter but wearing what i'm wearing now i was totally fine so i went to go on the highway thought it'd be fun to film it i goosed the car and it started like juddering and things were flashing and the headlights were flashing and the taillights were flashing and the sensors the parking sensors were flashing at me on the heads up display or the dash display sorry um and things were just going haywire and the car was jerking and i was just like am i even going to get back like am i going to get this back in part without having to call a tow truck i have no idea so <clears throat> hello throttle the car comes back to normal and is cruising like it never happened um aside from the fact that it turned the stereo back on which i had shut off in the video for copyright reasons so i limp it back and tried it a couple more times and it repeated the exact same process every single time i didn't keep filming it because i was had filmed it realized what was going on and what was going on was when you goose it the electrical draw on the motor i guess for injectors and different things that transpired it uses the battery to buffer that before the alternator can increase speed because it's running off the motor and there was no buffer it was directly off the alternator and it didn't have power and started cutting out and then it would grab itself and cut out grab itself and cut out but like fast 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 so i was a little panicked and i was a little like all over the place. I'd already filmed my review video of the car and I had nothing to talk about. It was great, beautiful, love it. You guys know the drill. Every month I try to do something. 
uh, definitely missed a few months, but I'm back trying to do every month. And I was a little heartbroken that I didn't have anything to talk about. There's nothing new. The car is just the car. I'm working and working on my life and my health and losing weight and dating and like all these different things going on. So the car hasn't been a big priority for me at the moment. So I thought, you know what, we'll film a quick video. And then I did this and then that happened and now we're here. So I just wanted to, before we get into it, I wanted to explain to you guys what happened. Um, I posted a short about it and I got a lot of great feedback and you guys showed some concern, which I do appreciate. Uh, but I do know the problem. The problem is the battery. There's there's nothing left in it. I do have resistors purchased to put in the reverse lights, which I'm going to try. They're cheap Amazon ones. I'm not overly confident in them. Apparently they heat up and get really hot and I don't want to light the car on fire. So I'm a little bit torn. Do I just go back to incandescents or do I spend more money and get the diode dynamics ones? I don't I don't really have a game plan at the moment because the car's sitting. The battery is going to get replaced regardless. I'm going to try to do like a yellow top AGM or something, doing something nice because it is very important that the car not only starts but I can unlock it. Um, and it doesn't do that. So I got the car back after 40 minutes of running. I parked it, it was still running. I just was like going over things, going through menus, everything seemed fine, everything was working fine. So what I stupidly did, I opened the door. Frameless windows drop as you open the door, car's running good power, it opens. No problem. Okay, cool. Click the button, figured there might be some juice left in it. Uh, maybe the next day when I get back, like late, because it's like 2 a.m. when I hit Oakville, I would be, I would take the car for another quick cruise, make sure everything's good. So I opened the door, shut the car off, and it died. There was zero juice in that battery to move the seat back, to put the seat window back up, nothing. So I had to hook the jumper cables back up just to put the window back up so that I could close it and leave the car locked. So I did do all that and I locked it with the remote while it was still connected to the other vehicle running and I got it reparked, positioned safely for now. I hope for the next couple weeks to get a battery picked up. I've been watching for deals, waiting for it to go on sale and working through some of the sources I know to maybe get a discount on one as well. Uh, that's kind of like the smallest part of my worries at this point. Um, I just got to get one picked up. I got to get back there. I got to crawl back through the trunk, pull it, swap it, and then hopefully do the resistors and everything at the same time. It's just been cold, I've been busy, and I haven't had the car here. So that is what it is. Thought I would give you guys a bit of a overview of the scenario, an overview of what I showed up with, what I worked around to get the car running. And as long as I maintained a constant speed or slow acceleration, car's going fine. So it's always driven. Never asked for anything. It was just once I started demanding it, and you could see things started going to ride. So I will put a new battery in it. I will repeat the entire process again, and I should have 100% success. Uh, I've been a Chevy advocate for many years. That is not changing. I just thought I would share with you some of the conundrums of aging cars. And here we are. Thank you for watching. As always, take care, drive safe, and behave, as always.